Can you say bandwagon? I mean, can you say jumping on a bandwagon? Now let's get into this. Media company Iago Manga will host a virtual panel for Comic-Con International's Comic-Con at Home featuring NBA point guard and Sacramento Kings standout the Aaron Fox. Iago Manga's publisher Austin Oseko, I probably didn't say that right, will moderate the NBA players are anime fans too. Yeah, sure. And it's a panel which will feature Fox's agent, Chris Gaston, and writer Natasha Clark. The conversation will center around Fox's love for anime and manga. Oh, here they come. Watch out, anime and manga fans. And how it influences his basketball career. <laughs> and now, according to Iago Manga, uh, his manga, which is called Swiper the Fox, and Swiper the Fox follows the NBA star as he ventures into a basketball video game and switches places with his video game counterpart who enters the real world and starts causing some major problems along the way Fox must use his basketball skills to play his way out of the digital game you see this happens every time something becomes popular. Uh, a manga is kicking uh, mainstream American comics ass in the charts, and uh, they're seeing uh, when you think about the K pop, when you think about anime, and when you think about manga, and you're seeing how it's captivating the youth here in America. And it's been around for uh, you know plenty of years, you know, with things like Dragon Ball Z. You know, personally, see, I'm going to be honest. I've never been into it. You know, I I appreciate entertainment in general, but anime is a thing that specifically I've never been into. I do appreciate uh, the proper use of diversity, meaning they have a diversity of stories and the type of characters that they will do. And, you know, and I appreciate some of the wild stuff that they're willing to do. And also mainly appreciate that they aren't PC with it. But with mainstream American media breathing down their throats trying to invade this genre, they're using people like NBA stars. And we know how woke the NBA is. But they're having these NBA stars, you know, these pro athletes, now pretending like they've been lifelong anime and manga fans. It's a similar thing that began to happen uh, back in the earlier part of the 2000s, you know, after the success of Iron Man and a couple of other movies in, you know, the early MCU Phase 1 days. All of a sudden, you know, people just lifelong fans of all of these comic book characters and they and you had girls wearing I love nerd shirt and everybody start coming out talking about they were a nerd when comic book movies started to be successful now they see manga is blowing up anime is blowing up huge and is killing it and the same thing is happening and remember what we saw what happened to the American uh, comic book industry and how comic book movies are being killed today, especially with how woke and nonsensical Phase 4 Marvel is becoming. So when you have these bandwagons, these mainstream bandwagon, bandwagoners like NBA stars trying to now suddenly proclaim that they're anime and manga fans the same way a previous generation suddenly try to claim that they're comic book fans that's a signal that they're trying to corrupt and infest your genre of entertainment now there could be some far out chance that De'Aaron Fox truly was an anime and manga fan very small chance but I personally will go with he's lying he probably likes, you know, the Dragon Ball Z, 
again, the stuff that a normies would state that they enjoyed, but the, was he really into it? No. And, and oh, this is just so annoying. Again, protect your genre of entertainment, anime and manga fans. Protect your genre, because now they're trying to uh, do everything they can. You, you, you see the Sony company trying to wokeify uh, anime, and they're censoring right out of the gate. You know, meanwhile, through Sony Music, they're promoting gangster rappers, who is pretty much advertising a death cult for a living through their gangster rap. And now you have here with NBA stars proclaiming that they're these lifelong fans and now trying to have their own anime or a manga book, I should say. And it's just bullshit. Well, right here it says in the article, it's a manga influence Swipe the Fox comic book. But, you know, it's, it's just going to try to sell itself as a manga because the fact is they're they're leading with manga even though they're calling a comic book they're leading with manga because they're trying to invade that space and corrupt it like they've corrupted every single other space so all I'm saying is beware because the bandwagoners are coming and they're coming to wokeify your space anime and manga fans so gatekeep it kick these bastards out and call these phonies out because they are not well intended, intended at all.